Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tarot card reading and I wanted to do kind of like a third part to Delphi. So without getting into the history of what happened in Delphi, Indiana, um, I'm just gonna go right into pulling cards. So I decided to use my Haunted House Tarot and maybe Everyday Witches Tarot, but I kind of wanted to t uh, kind of like tune into specific questions. So number one, I want to ask the cards if this person is still living in Delphi. If he is married, does he have children? What kind of job career does he have? Or is there any kind of clue that we could potentially be overlooking and what should we be focusing on? So those are kind of some of the things that, you know, because we are, I think this February, we're coming up on year four. So that's kind of concerning me. Um, I really had hopes that this thing was gonna be solved this past summer. Um, you know, so I will say this, I did pull some cards yesterday and I am getting a wife. So I'm getting a wife and I'm also getting that she knows what he did and is kind of torn in between turning him in and not turning him in. And I think that it's affecting her a lot more than it's affecting him. At least that's what I pulled, uh, yesterday. So I'm going to see what I get today, see if it's kind of the same or, or not. Um, and kind of the end result of yesterday's poll was, I think this case being solved is going to be dependent on whether the wife decides to come forward. So that's, you know, and again, the, I have to say this, this is entertainment purposes only. So, you know, I have to put that out there, but that's what m you know, I'm, I'm feeling. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. Having said that. So I pulled a, a lot of cards yesterday. Um, a lot of, a lot of sword action for the wife, nine of swords, 10 of swords, eight of swords, two of swords. And that told me yesterday that this is probably tearing the wife apart inside mentally and it could be coming out physically as well so I wonder if they are you know people are paying attention to possibly the family members or the wife in particular you know if they if somebody were to suspect this person and he is married. Are they watching the wife? Are they seeing how she's behaving or if or her personality has changed at all in the last couple of years? Um, so that might be something to consider as well because based on that poll yesterday, she's got some demons, put it that way. She is really struggling with this. So that's where I am falling on my belief scale is that the wife, there is a wife, the wife knows, and I think this case is going to come down to whether the wife chooses to come forward or not. All right, so Delphi, Indiana. Is the Delphi killer still living in Indiana? Still living in Delphi, Indiana. Actually, I'm not gonna pull just one card. I'm not gonna do that today. I'm gonna just go ahead and pull out a spread and see what kind of story we get from it instead of doing one card at a time. Um, still living in Indiana. Okay, so we've got three. That is the Empress. Okay, so I don't read reversals and I will say this right now. The Empress is that motherly figure. This is the the wife. Okay, so uh, she's coming out right away. Um, we've got the Queen of Swords. Mm, the Tower. Okay. Wheel of Fortune. Okay, some of these I'm just, it's the same, same pool as yesterday. Okay, 
Let me scoot these over a little bit. So let's start with this. So I've got the Empress, the Queen of Swords, the Tower, the Wheel of Fortune, the Five of Pentacles, uh, 13, that's Death, um, Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, the Knight of Swords, or sorry, no, I'm sorry, the Knight of Wands, and um, Five, that's Five, the Hierophant. This right here, the Hierophant, this image alone, if you can see that, it screams exorcism to me. This just kind of always, rem th that's the image that I get when I look of look at the um, the Hierophant in this particular deck. I don't get, I don't get um, exorcism in any other deck in my Hierophant card, but I do in this one. Um, so maybe some crazy religion stuff going on. That's how I would take that. So definitely. I will, I, I don't even know if I'm going to go in order, but for starters, the Five of Pentacles. Now, yesterday when I pulled, I pulled the Ten of Pentacles, and in this particular deck's Ten of Pentacles, it is a big house. It shows a big house, and in the main picture in the background is this big, luxurious house. And in the front of the house is the traditional Ten of Pentacles card, okay? So you can kind of identify what it is. And um, I took that as this person was wealthy enough to have a home, but I also pulled the Five of Pentacles. And if anybody knows anything about tarot, if I can get a good spot for this to see. Oh my God, the light, I'm so sorry about the lighting, guys. One of these days I'm gonna get a good spot. Maybe not, okay. I don't know if you can see this, but there are spiders, you can see this here. Okay, you can see it up close. So I also pulled the five of pentacles along with the 10 of pentacles yesterday. And I took that as uh, one thing with tarot is that I, uh, sometimes you don't always have to draw on the actual book definition. You can use the imagery, which is why I like to collect multiple decks of, of tarot cards because different decks have different, completely different pictures and it opens up another perspective of that particular card. So um, I would never read the Five of Pentacles as a web of lies, but I would I would read it in this deck because of the spiders. The spiders are what really, really gets me in this, this card. Um, and so I kind of do feel like this is a person who has spun a web of lies around his entire life, okay? And there could be some dishonesty with finances. This might be somebody who you know, doesn't have as much money as he wants people to think he does. So I, I'll say that about the Five of Pentacles. Um, definitely, when I look at this Tower card, I'm like, okay, shit's going to hit the fan pretty soon. Things are going to, you know, I would look at this Tower card as something positive, that there's going to be some change in this case. And it's not going to be positive for him, but it's positive for everybody else. So when is that going to happen is the question. Okay, so that's, um, what, 16? So are we talking what, you know, 16 days, 16 weeks, 16 months, 16 years? God, I hope not. Um, you know, so that to me is his world crashing around him. And it could actually be happening now. We don't know what circumstances this person has going on in his life. His world could be literally um, you know, he's free. Yes, he's free. He can, you know, sleep where he wants. He can eat where he wants. He can watch TV. He can do all these luxuries of being free and not in prison. But um, I do think that he has some, you know, I, there's something going on and it, it, it's, he's not as probably enjoying it as much as we maybe think he is that would be my um I, I think his life has fallen completely to hell that's what I think and it should you know because when you do something like that you have to have you know those are your consequences so I do think this is the wife coming out I do think this is the wife coming out um so I do kind of get the uh impression that she could be sometimes cold distant uh you know, kind of doesn't take bullshit from people. That is the definite 
book de definition of a uh, queen of uh, swords. But again, if you're looking at the pictures, so this might be someone who is interested in reading, um, you know, maybe has a job or a career that is around books. You know, I know a lot of people have thrown out the fact that this person could potentially be a teacher. Um, you know, could his wife be a teacher? Could they both be in the education system? Or, you know, some, something that uh, is something, or even if it's a woman who likes to read. You know, if you live in Delphi and you're friends with somebody and the woman loves reading and all of a sudden these past couple of years she has just deteriorated mentally and you don't know why, you know, that could be a red flag. I think the Wheel of Fortune is basically his time is running out. So his time is running out. We don't know what that clock, you know, really is. His time could be running out, like I said here, the next few years, the next few months. But um, I do think, I do look at this as a good omen card as far as this case being solved. I do think it is going to be solved eventually. I really, truly do. Um, we've got transformation. Uh, I think that this is... I think him and his wife, this has completely changed their lives. It has completely just up, just, you know, I, what I don't understand is, you know, given the fact that this town is so small, can you not narrow down a family that has went through a great transformation, you know, especially a not so good transformation. I mean, is there a family where one of them has started to drink or, you know, lose weight, gain weight, stressed, secluded? Um, you know, is there somebody that used to go out and about and function and do all these things and no longer does and has just completely changed, changed in appearance, changed in demeanor? You know, there's got to be somebody that uh, I would think in that small, small town of you know, a few thousand people, population where everyone knows everyone. Not one person. You, you, they can't, you know, and I understand you just can't go out and arrest someone based off of, you know, whether or not they've lost 50 pounds and they started drinking. I know that's not evidence, but I have a deep, deep feeling that they know who this person is and they're watching and they're waiting and they're just waiting for the right time. And I think that they need something new. I think there has to be, I, I think they're just missing one piece of the puzzle. And I think that's what this Ace of Pentacle is. Somebody has to give them that one piece that they need. And I think that they can, can go and get him. I think they know exactly who it is. And I am sticking with my gut that because to me, this is the wife, this is the wife, this is the wife. Okay. And her world is crashing around her okay she everything is she this man has destroyed so many people's lives including his own and including his own wife and you know i feel like this is her trying to decide what the hell should she do should she go in and turn her husband in or not and she hasn't up until now i don't know how much longer she's going to be able to live like that because this is exactly how she feels on the inside she is trapped she doesn't know what the hell to do she's blindfolded she can't, she cannot make that decision. Both of them are horrible. <laughs> Both decisions are horrible for her, you know, but what is she going to be able to live with for the rest of her life? Okay. So if she were watching this, you know, this, this feeling of being trapped isn't going to go away and you know what choice you need to make, you know, what's the right choice to do to make. Um, you need to turn this person in because, uh, you will continue on, you will live your life fine and you won't have this, feeling of being trapped and bound and blindfolded okay you can start to build your life back up and and pull these swords out and pick up the pieces of what he did to you and i know that's hard it's easier said than done but y you will be able to live your life um quite a bit more peaceful inside inside your your body inside your mind and heart and so you will be able to live a more peaceful life knowing that you did the right thing. So that's what I would say to the wife. And I, I do think it's the wife that holds this. Okay. This is the wife right here. She needs to give that piece of information. And then this is her acting out and giving, this is a knight. This is my action card. Okay. So the knight of um, wands, this is, 
look, look, if you look at the card, okay, she's holding the power in her hand. She has this piece. This is the piece that she needs to turn in. She, she needs to do this. And then I think there's some crazy shit going on with religion because, again, this is the Hierophant, but I, uh, this particular deck screams exorcism to me. And so, you know, this could be somebody that, um, you know, is trying to, you know, let's go back to the wife. I kind of feel like this is the, the wife, you know, maybe she's trying to, you know, go to religion to either maybe be able to help the husband, maybe she's trying to get him some religion to maybe change how he is or who he is. Maybe she's turning to religion, but I do think that there is some religious aspect to this. And I think a lot of people have always, when I watch videos myself on Delphi, the Hierophant and other religious cards tend to come up. And so I do, I do think that there is some religious aspect to, to this somehow. Okay, so <sighs> let's see what else we can get. Okay, so I want to know if this man and his family still live in Delphi, Indiana. Are they still there in Delphi? Is he still there in Delphi? Oh, okay, so <clears throat> All right. So this is the Four of Wands. Okay. Usually this is a celebration card in another in a, in a traditional tarot. I don't really necessarily get celebration with this particular card in this deck. So what I look at that is I feel like these people feel like people are looking at them. I feel like they're they I don't know. And that's what makes me feel like other people in the town know who this is. They know who this is. And I do feel like this is, um, this is them, the husband and wife, the, the killer and his wife. I feel like they feel that people are watching them, that they, they feel like people suspect them. That's how I think. Okay. That's how I really look at this card. People are looking at them, whether they are or whether they aren't. This is the feeling that this, this guy has, him and his wife. They feel like, you know, they're, they're being looked at or watched. So I do think that that is an indication to, you know, yes, they still live in Delphi, Indiana. So I'm taking that as a yes. Um, let's see what else. Okay, is there a clue that we should be focusing on or is, is there anything that we're overlooking what's something else we can something else that we're overlooking here okay so we've got the knight of pentacles um action um again looking at this card what comes out at me is the owl so I always feel like if you pull a, a card and you're doing a reading, that very first image that pops into your head, that's the one that you need to be focused on. That's the one that, you know, your, your, um, your intuition is, is, you know, leading you to, to see. Okay. So I'm looking at the owl and the owl is a, um, you know, animal that works at night, right? They're, they're at night. And so I do kind of think that, you know, maybe this man, has a job where he works during the night shift. Uh, I know, for example, the day that uh, the murders happened, a lot of people were saying, well, you know, what kind of job did he have where it allowed him to be out on a weekday at, you know, I don't know, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock in the afternoon. And, you know, that could be for a, a variety of reasons. He could have taken a day off. He could have been, I, I don't know. I don't know if you do that on your lunch break or not. I mean, I, I don't know, but I kind of wonder if, you know, there's a lot of jobs that aren't necessarily Monday through Friday, nine to five jobs. You know, even factory jobs have different shifts. So sometimes they have, you know, the seven to three, three to uh, seven to three and three to 11. So it just depends. But what if he had a job that had him working overnight? What if he was a night worker? So I, I that's kind of what I'm I'm looking at maybe. 
And another thing I want to ask is if his clothes were a disguise. You know, is this somebody that we keep saying is an outdoorsy type person, a hunter person based on what he he had on that day? Or is this somebody who wears a suit and tie most days? And that's why nobody can pinpoint who it is because they could never imagine this person wearing jeans like that. So, okay. We've got the Two of Cups. Yeah, see, I think this is him, him and his wife. She is sticking with him through thick and thin. And see, this is, yeah. This is really killing her. This is just really killing her from the inside out. I think this case is going to come down to the wife. I really do. What's that? The Emperor? Four. Yeah, the Emperor. I think this is, um, you know, this could be the answer to my question when I asked if he is an outdoorsy person or not. Is that Was that a disguise? So uh, pulling the emperor wouldn't, in a, again, in another regular tarot deck, would not give me the um, idea that this one is. But I do think, I'm, I'm kind of feeling like, no, that probably wasn't necessarily a disguise. Um, this guy here is, the emperor here is obviously a hunter. He's... He's, he looks distinguished and he looks like he, you know, is a very, um, well-to-do person, but he also has the hunting gun and he likes to travel the world and, you know, collect these things and, you know, do all these things and hunt. And so I am kind of thinking that that is the answer to my question that no, it wasn't necessarily a disguise. It is in fact, someone who does know his way around that, that world, um, so, okay. Does he still work at the same place that he did? Does he still work at the same job? And if we could figure out what that job is, that would be great. Does he still work at the same job? Okay, so we have the Queen of Cups. So with this one here, you know, half of her body is out of water and half of her body is in water. This is usually um, an, an indicator of being balanced. So obviously we know this guy is not balanced, um, but I, I kind of wonder if this is more pertaining to the wife and maybe this was, in fact, at one point, at one time, a very, very balanced woman um, and, you know, knew what her purpose was in life. And this has just completely, you know, just destroyed her, her world. And now I, I, I would be looking at the women of Delphi. <laughs> I think that you would get more luck trying to look at women of Delphi and you know, seeing if there's anybody who has deteriorated or changed in physical appearance, physical demeanor. That might actually be more of a clue. Okay, so this is giving. Yeah. I do think um, I'm going to completely take this as a different um, definition of this typical what I consider a nostalgic card and say that this is definitely um, the wife and she does have that piece to the puzzle that she needs to turn over and hand over to the police. So I do think that that would really, um, I mean, look how peaceful this, this card is. You've got the flowers. It, it's just a happy card. It just makes you feel good. And so I do think that that's going to be the result once she um, turns this information over to the police or to the authorities. I think that this will be the outcome. It will be peace. Uh, right now, she doesn't have that. She's falling apart. And I, I think that she is the, the key to this 
this case being solved. So let's pour our, oops. Yeah, so we're gonna take that one. And again, I think this is her. I think this is her, the Nine of Wands. This is just her trying to figure out what the hell to do. You know, she's just confused. She doesn't know what to do. She doesn't know which path to take. Um, she she is really she is really blindfolded. She she cannot figure out what to do. Turn him in, not turn him in. One of them is killing her though. The not turning him in is killing her. It's killing her slowly but surely. So um, I think that I'm gonna not draw any more from this deck. And let me just draw. I don't want to have this video like three hours long like normal. I'm trying to keep them, trying to, trying to do them a little quicker. Let me just draw a couple cards from my everyday witches tarot and see, because I will say this, I am going to say this, the haunted house tarot. Okay. If you look at the box, the main, the main person in this, this deck is a female. Okay. So it's not uncommon to have almost every card pull that female. So I want to use another deck that doesn't have a female necessarily in every single card. So I will say that just to be fair. just going to ask a general question about the Delphi murderer. What do we need to know? What's something important that we need to know about the Delphi murderer? Something that we need to know that we're overlooking. Judgment. Mm. Yeah. Okay, let's see here. Well, we've got two, what is it, two, two major arcanas. We have judgment and we have the fool. So I do look at the judgment card as something good. I do feel like this person is going to be judged appropriately. Um, and I do think it's going to happen here on earth, not in the afterworld. I think he's going to have his judgment on that side too. But I do think that he is going to have judgment here. Um, he, he, I think he will be... He will be caught eventually. I do think that. And, you know, look at this card. When you think of music, what do you think of? I think of celebration, happiness. I do think that there is going to be celebration eventually because I do think that he's going to get caught. So I, I, that's how I look at that card. The Fool, um, I don't know. I, You know, I almost look at this as him making a misstep, him making a, a mistake doing something. So maybe it doesn't all fall, fall down to the, or come down to the wife. Maybe this is him making a mistake. Maybe that's what the cops are waiting for, for him to just make that one wrong step, and then they've got him. I think that that's a, a good sign. And then the Ten of Swords. Um, so I did pull the Ten of Swords in the other card, or I deck, I think. Um, and I did pull the Ten of Swords yesterday, and it was on the wife. And so I think... I think this kind of represents the both of them. I think they both feel kind of defeated and more so even the wife too, because, you know, it, well, no, actually I, I will say that this is probably both of them because whatever happens, whatever comes of it, they both feel stabbed in the back. I think she feels stabbed in the back by him for just the, the, the fact that he did this, how he ruined everyone's lives. I mean, he ruined you know, the, he took the life of these, you know, beautiful young girls. He, he destroyed so many family members and, and, you know, just, but I also feel like she is angry at him for destroying their lives as well. And I think that he would feel really betrayed if he, if he knew that his wife was going to turn him in. So I think it's just a, I think it, that card is just a good representation of how they both feel. 
And then we've got two pages, which are, you know, kind of like taking a new path in life, something, something new, you know, you're, you've come up with something, you've got this ace of swords, you've got this idea that has come up in your head. And, you know, the pages are putting it into action. And so that kind of makes me wonder if, you know, is there something new that the police are looking at or, or uh, considering a, maybe a different avenue, um, different path of trying to go about solving this crime? Um, or is it just a new piece of evidence that they need? Um, you know, I, I kind of feel like, hmm, and then we've got, okay, we've got the Page of Pentacles, so we've got money down here. We've got a map. Look at that, we've got a map. My eyes were drawn to the map. We've got a bag of money and we've got a map. So, um, that could have some significance to it. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, and then we have the Queen of Pentacles, so... We have pulled a few pentacles. I do think that this is a family that is somewhat um, affluent. I do. I think that they have, I'm not saying that they're, you know, loaded or, or rich beyond imagination, but I think that this is a family that is overall comfortable. I think they're a comfortable family. Um, middle class, maybe. A little bit, you know, uh, and I think the woman, the wife, is a down-to-earth person even even they even though they appear to be a little bit affluent I think the wife is more likable than him I don't think he is a very likable individual but the wife is typically likable I think she is a very down-to-earth person very well liked in the community um, you know has a, a job or a career okay so she she's independent she and I think she's really 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 being affected by this even more so than than the murderer himself so I I do think that and I'm going to just draw one more one more card or two more cards to just see what's the outcome what can, can I mean when is this gonna happen when is this guy gonna get caught? I mean <sighs> Four years now, guys. Four years. When, when, when is this man going to get caught? What is the final... Well, let me just ask a yes or no question. So, is the Delphi killer going to get caught? You know what? Let me ask a couple of questions as far as the timeline. So, let's first ask, is the Delphi killer going to get caught within this next year so is the Delphi killer going to get caught within the next year or within this coming year and I am going to simply do a yes or no based on the card I get is the Delphi killer going to be caught this year hmm yeah, so five of swords, I would say no, not this year. Okay. Is the Delphi killer going to be caught within the next two years? Is the Delphi killer going to get caught within the next two years? Seven of cups. Oh man, this is not getting any better. So I look at that as, you know, this is a thinking card. This is a, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to make. I don't know what to do. I don't know what choice I need to, you know. So I don't even take this as a yes. So now we're up to year three. Um, is the Delphi killer going to get caught within the next three years? Ah, uh, there we go. The star, the wish card. So, you know, does that mean that that's when he's going to get caught? Absolutely not. Um, you know, but I do, I do take stock of what the cards say. Um, is he going to be caught this year? 
five of swords, no. That's just nothing but arguing, bickering, fighting, whatever, competition. Fives are chaos and tarot. Seven of cups is like dreamy. Your head are in, you know, your head's your head's in the clouds. You can't make up your mind. You're thinking about things. You're fantasizing. You're, you know, what if or whatever. And so that is, uh, to me, a no. So one year, two year, three year. So no, no, yes. So I, I still think that we've got some time on our hands. I do think that there, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it's three years. That is ridiculous in my mind, but you know, I'm judging from over here. I don't know what the cop, you know, it, it's easy to just sit at home and say, oh God, why, why can't they find this person or why can't they do this? And the truth is, I don't know what kind of evidence they have or what they don't have or what they need. I, I don't know. So I'm going to try not to, you know, judge them like that. Because I do think that the police there are trying their best, and I think that they're doing what they can with the information that they have. I do think that this could change, though. I think it could be right away if the wife stepped forward and came came out and, and turned her husband. And I, 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 I'm sticking with that. I feel like that's really what's holding this case up. I think that the police know that she knows something, and they are just trying to, uh, I don't know if they've reached out to her. I don't know if, I don't know. I don't think she has said anything to anyone, but it is killing her on the inside, and she is not doing very well. She's not sleeping. She's probably not eating very well. Um, you know, this is somebody, again, like I said before, who has possibly lost weight, gained weight. I would probably guess maybe lost weight. Um, so if anybody is watching this that's local, is there any female? I think let's maybe let's just focus less on him and see if we could pinpoint it down to a woman in the community who has drastically changed everywhere, demeanor, physical appearance, mental, everything. Is there someone there that, you know, used to do a phenomenal job at work and now they can't even focus on what they're doing anymore? Or maybe they don't even have that job anymore because they can't even do it. They can't, you know, they can't function. So I don't know. I think that's where I'm going to end it today, guys. Um, so I don't know. Are we looking at one, two, three years? I don't think so. Not if she comes forward, but if she doesn't, uh, you know, and that may be her coming forward. Maybe it's going to take her three years, you know, three more years of living like this. And, uh, maybe she just won't be able to hold on to it anymore. I don't know. But anyway, thank you guys so much for, uh, stopping by today. If there's anything that, you know, you noticed in the cards that I missed, please put it in the comments. And, you know, I know I don't read reversals. Sometimes I kind of keep it in the back of my mind that I did pull it as a reversed and I kind of just incorporate that into the reading. Um, so I know somebody is probably going to ask about the reversals, but, um, anyway, I hope this, uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe brings out a different perspective of focusing, focusing on the wife instead of him. So, uh, please like, and subscribe. I so appreciate it. I really do appreciate it guys. I just, I'm, I'm so, <sighs> I'm kind of like a kid on Christmas morning when I see that I have new subscribers. I'm not even going to lie. I just so appreciate it. But anyway, until next time, have a wonderful day. Be kind to one another, and I will see you next time. Bye.